Good morning, boys and girls. I have some special helpers today. I don't think they're going to be helping me very much. They're trying to eat my buttons and my hair, but I thought that you would enjoy them. This is Daisy, and then this one with the pink beak is Duchess. I think we just found out that this one would be the female. This one is going to be the male, so girl, boy, and we're going to do a read aloud. We're going to see how well they handle it with me. So we're going to read a book called Farm Animals. Ooh, they didn't like that one. This one is a non-fiction book, and it's going to tell you about the different animals on the farm and what they do for the farm. This is a, a chapter called People and Farms. All over the world, people build farms so they can keep their animals close by. Long ago, animals used to only live in the wild. People needed to have them for meat. Then people learned that if they fenced them in, that they can use them for other things. They found out that animals' eggs, wool, and milk were useful too. Today, some farm animals live in huts, like chickens. Others live in big open fields. Farmers grow fields of grass for their sheep and their cows to eat. Look at that big cow with its mouth full of grass. Feeding time. Farm animals can't always find things to eat. So farmers give them extra food and drink. Farmers feed their sheep hay when the snow covers the grass. Newborn chicks are given trays of grain and water. And after a week, they learn to eat the grain from a feeder. They get the water by tapping their beaks on a drinker. On a ranch, ranches are farms with lots of land. On beef ranches, farmers breed cattle for their meat. In spring, the ranchers herd their cattle to the hills where there's lots of grass to eat. Before the cold winter, ranchers round them up and the cattle and the herd back to the farm. On very big ranches, helicopters will round up the cattle. Female chickens are called hens. All hens lay eggs, but only some eggs will hatch into chicks. Some farmers keep hens for their eggs. Each day, fresh eggs are taken and sold. For an egg to hatch into a chick, a male chicken has to mate with a hen. Male chickens are called roosters. After a rooster and a hen have mated, the hen will make a nest. She lays some eggs and will sit down to warm them up. Then she uses her beak and her feet to turn the eggs over. After 21 days, the chick will hatch out of the egg. Cows and goats and sheep are often kept by farmers for their milk. Several days after a cow gives birth, it goes with the other cows to be milked. The milking machine will attach to the cow's teats. Their milk goes into a huge tanker truck. The cows are milked twice a day and their milk is collected by a milk tanker. Some farmers in different parts of the world will squeeze out the milk by their hand. They squeeze the tea and the milk squirts into a bowl. And then there's a fun fact here. It says some farmers play music while their sheep are milking and it makes the sheep produce more milk. Sheep don't need their thick woolly coats in summer. Farmers will shear them off and the wool will be used to make clothes and blankets. Sheep dogs will help the farmers round up the sheep on the hillsides. Some farmers will tell the sheep dogs what to do by blowing the whistle. The sheep are then herded into a pen, and then their wool is sheared off in one piece. Mm -hmm. Then the farmer lets the sheep go. We read about that when Kayla read to you guys on how to shear mm -hmm. the sheep, the funny little book that was right there. Llamas are also kept on farms, and they have soft wool. These llamas have just been sheared. You're okay. Pigs and piglets. Pigs are muddy, but they keep their huts dry and clean. They search for food on the ground. Farmers give them food pellets to eat. To keep cool, pigs roll in the wet mud. Then they stretch out and let the mud dry. Pigs have a very good sense of smell. They've been trained to sniff out things. Baby pigs are called piglets, and a mother pig can have 14 piglets at a time. When farm animals are born, their mothers look after them. 
Often the farmer helps too. A farmer can help an animal have its baby. The mother um, sheep has a baby lamb. Once the lamb is born, she licks her lamb to clean it. The lamb can then stand up after a few minutes. Lambs are marked with paint to show which mom they belong to. Mother cows usually only have one calf. The calf will suck the milk from its mother's teat. Baby lambs know who their mother is because she makes her very special own bleeding sound. All right, here we go, ducks and geese. So here's the ducks. These are gonna be peeking ducks. So these ones are going to be pure white by the time that they're an adult. 